Yo, what's up guys, it's Tater here. We're back with episode number four of the New Jersey Devils franchise mode, and we're hitting, heading into our first NHL draft on NHL 21. I have not gotten to the draft in a franchise mode before. Actually, that's a lie, but I was testing something with the, another team, and I t traded like every pick except for like the last two or three rounds. So, I have no idea what to expect. Obviously, there's guys that are supposed to be high, like Ratty. Other than that, I have no idea. So, we're going to get it underway. Uh, so, we have pick 19. Not bad, not great. Uh, I don't think we're going to make any trades. We're just going to see who gets picked in the first few picks. So, Ratty, 70 overall, elite high. That's pretty sick. Whoa. Okay. 80 overall elite medium. I mean, Ratty could be better in the future, but Ottawa got the better player right now. Interesting. So sim, the top, well, sim top five, a 78 overall two way forward elite medium for Detroit Islanders. I hope you guys bomb this draft pick. A defensive defenseman, elite medium, 77 overall. LA, 75 defensive defenseman, elite medium. We'll go to our pick 19. So, whoa, it's, uh, it's looking pretty rough here. Yeah. Minnesota is kicking their butts on that. They drafted a top six high 63 overall when they could have had a 78 overall elite medium. So I think I'm seeing a little trend here. Players without pictures seem to be fairly well. So we need a, a right handed defenseman. Could be useful. A right handed forward. Uh, let's see. Is there any gems here? Bust. Oof. I'm actually kind of curious to see what uh, what he turns out to be. But I think we're gonna go. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, he's 6'3", 195. All right, we're taking this defenseman. Top 4D medium. Okay, let's see what the next few picks get. Top 6 forward. All right, so didn't really get miss out on too much. So we got the first pick in round two. I'm trying to think, like, four wingers in D. Like bullies, whatever we got, Blackwood. Oh, that's a big boy. 6'3, 214, 17 years old. We got Theo Rochette, Riley Kidney. I think we should get this uh, Dimitri Klosnik, Sergei Punevos, Zachary Bolduke. I like that he's a winger. He's a big boy. Let's see what let's see what he can come to us with. 65 overall, top six, medium. All right. We'll send him to pick 73. So it's still in the 60s, just barely. So like I scouted, did a bunch of scouting, and. I don't know. Scout's broken. Franchise mode supposedly having an, an update, a patch soon, early November. Um, I still want to keep going with this Devils franchise. I don't know how many seasons I'll do. But I just wanted to do Devils first. They're my, they're my favorite team, so we'll keep going, and then when the franchise mode uh, patch comes out, then depending how far we get into the seasons, uh, the series, I'll think about switching it up. 
if I want to get at least a few years in. So we might be doing this for the rest of November, maybe a little bit. Now that I think about it, end of November would be a pretty solid time for this series to end. So we're going Rhett Reinhardt. We draft a Reinhardt, six foot three, two hundred five, right-handed defenseman. Yeah, we do it. Sixty-four overall, top six medium. Go pick eighty-one. My controller is being a little finicky. Okay, so the Sharks want our eighty-first for their hundred fourteenth and their fourth. Honestly. I mean, two fourths, a third. I'll I'll just keep the third. Wonder who they want. Six two two oh one right handed offensive defenseman. Charlie Disroches. Whoa, six five center. You're coming to New Jersey, buddy. <laughs> 55 overall. <laughs> Who did San Jose pick? Eh. I thought it, they. I thought maybe they'd have like a steal or something that they wanted, but whatever. Let's take a look at. Goalies, actually. I should have looked at goalies earlier. So, 112. What what pick are we at right now? 112. Do we, do we roll it on a goalie? Just see. I think we should. Wait. We should wait. Maybe next round we'll grab a goalie. Uh, let's see, Jack O'Brien. <laughs> Another big boy. Nah, we'll. I think we'll go for a uh, Peter Korzak. Fifty-five. So. I'm not, I'll send the next pick, but then after this one, I simulate the rest of the draft. I just don't feel like drafting the last few rounds, but we will go and pick up this goalie, Sergei Semyonov, backup medium. All right. So <laughs> we really only missed uh, two draft, two rounds. We got Roulette and Gauthier. So we'll see. Resign fees. I don't know if I have to resign many. I know we signed a bunch of people. The following scouts have expiring contracts on your team. Do I even bother with the scouts if the scouting system's broken? Like, just wasting my time? All right, let's go check all expiring. So, yeah. Just depth, guys. What does Ajax want? Where does he fit? Is he like our fourth line? I think we have to. I Let's take a look. Uh, we'll go main roster. Forwards. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think, I think we do bring back Sajak, but uh, let's see, unsign, see if there's any of these demon that we have here, or not just defensemen, but we'll sign Pushkarev, three-year deal, enjoy your entry-level contract, what's this goalie? So, <laughs> So, in the 7th round, 
we pick up Taylor Gauthier. He's a higher overall than Semyonov. That's funny. But he is two years older. We'll give both of them a contract. See if they can develop. Uh, let's see here. I didn't mean to go to forwards. I went all skaters. Top six medium. Like, I don't. Whatever. And let's go. All expiring again. So, I didn't. I didn't say drag Bowie. I think Bowie would qualify. How much does he want? 1.57. Yeah. Not terrible, but that's whatever. Honka, you want that? Yeah, sure. I'll give you less than a mil. You could be our seventh D-man or our eighth D-man. Whatever. Cooking it. We will we'll qualify. How much do you want, guy? You want 975? What do you want? Yeah, I'll give you 975. What's our cap space? 25 mil? I think we... We'll bring back... Say, uh, sorry. Say Jack. So Hudden wanted of what? Two and a half? Say Jack, say Jack, say Jack. I mean, we're not strapped for cash, so I don't have to stretch his deal out. We'll give you 1.85. Whatever. If you want it, you want it. So, Hudden, let's see. He wants 2.475 for three years. I. It's not bad. How, what did he do? I know he's third pair, 14 points minus 21. Yeah. We're just going to release you. That's cool. How about uh, goalies? I didn't mean to go that much. Goalies, Sen. So these guys are all... How'd you do? Not bad. 21 wins and... Oh, we'll give Wedgwood. I'll just give you both a contract. Like, you guys want two way deals? Interest in two way contract. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to give you a one way. Two way deal. The three? Sure. Welcome back, Wedgwood. Nigel Dawes. Or sorry, not Nigel. <sighs> Nicholas Dawes. Why? Isn't Nigel Dawes? You split in the NHL, right? Three years, 750. Cool. You got it, buddy. So I'll advance the day. Say Jack Rousset. Wedgewood. You said you're interested in two way. You don't want it? Cool, whatever. What would get the heck out of here? So assimilate to the re the free agency part. I'm not con too concerned about the rest of our RFAs that we have. They're all like depth kind of players, but now that I said that much. One of them come bite me in the ass here. So let's see what free agents are here. Holy crap. Olufsen wants 11.6 mil at 86 overall. Wow. Free agency looks expensive. Let's go assess our roster via contracts here. So far as you got Hisher, Cahoon, Gusev, Hughes, Janssen, Palmieri, Brat, Bulquist, Zajac, Saka, Ward, Holtz. I don't know if bringing Holtz in on the fourth line 
Unless he fits somewhere. Unless he fits in, like, the second, maybe third line, chemistry-wise. But then we already have Palmieri and Gusev for right-handed forwards. And then we have Hughes, Hischer. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the chemistry adds up. So we got four... So we definitely need a bottom pair defense. Subban wants a contract extension, four years at 6.6. .6. Wow. Butcher contract. Okay. That's got to be coming down in price throughout this season. Holy crap. Butcher wants 12 mil for eight years. Okay. That, uh, that was interesting. Crawford wants an extension. What does he want? One year. One year, two years, same. See. I'm not opposed to bringing Crawford back. But I would like Blackwood to be the guy soon. I think he could be the guy right now. And... Blackwood's 5.2 million? Did I sign him to that? I think I'm pretty sure I did. Okay. So 5.2 million... He's got to be our starter. Uh, there's no other way around it. And Crawford's not going to have much trade value, so maybe we could just swap him. But we'll see if there's anything reasonable in free agency. So I'll take a look and uh, let's just take a look and see what we have here. We'll sort by overall. Buffalo, Mantha, Sam Reinhardt. Marcus Johansson, Victor Olsen, Hamilton, Denol, Strom, Hoffman, Krejci, Tatar, Gustafsson. Gustafsson wants almost 8 million for 5 years. Whoa. Chris Bowen wants, oh my. This is, uh... Holy crap, what's what's defense looking like? Maybe I should have re-signed Ben Hutton at this rate. Because at this rate, I'm paying 10, 9, 10 mil for third line defense. Jake McCabe. See UFA? He is. Oliver. Olio Levy. What's that? Uh, compensation first and third. I'm all right. I just want to see. Wow. Okay. So Jake McCabe, we're going cheap. Two year. We'll give you two point five. So defensive spots. Like, do we bring Ty Smith in? Maybe? Jake McCabe is a two-way, right? Yeah, so we probably should get up another two-way. Maybe Stone? Ooh. Jay Bolmister? That'd be kind of cool to bring him in. Ben Hyden, we can bring him back. Rather not. He didn't do well for us. Kita Zadorov, UFA. Three goals, 13 assists, 34 penalty minutes, and a minus three with 16 minutes time on that. I'll give you a one year, 2.35. And I want another two-way defenseman, but Zadorov's kind of a 
an interesting piece. See what the goalie free agency market's like. Tuka Rask, Freddie Anderson, Dubnik, Lundqvist, Riddick, Grubauer, Saros, Allmark, Ranta, Reimer. Reimer. That is crazy. But like, Dubnik looks like a steal. Same with Lundqvist. I mean, they're old, but they want cheap money. James Reimer wants fucking 2.3 mil. So again, we're gonna go a sort overall. See about maybe like adding a fourth line guy or something that's not too expensive. Cause we can always save our cap for a trade deadline and whatnot if we need to bolster our team a bit. Bozak at 81 overall. Kind of intriguing, but not enough that's like, let's get this guy. Michael Sorensen, sniper. Nope, I don't want a sniper on my fourth line. See if there's anyone with good potential that's a UFA. Athanasiu. Where did he fit? He's a power forward, right? Oh, playmaker. For some reason, I thought he was a power forward. Playmaker's not bad. Let's see here. Alex Barre Boulet. 5'10 center. Playmaker. Should not be playing center with that. Oh, crap. Nick Merkley. We'll bring him back. One point. We'll go three or 1.6. Good thing I, uh, I sorted for that. Jonathan Dallin. Cool. I think we're not really going to make a splash, so we'll just sim to next season. Hopefully, uh, Merkley resigns with us. Jake McCabe signed. Cool. Sidoro signed. Merkley signed. So we'll get ready for the off season. So I'll catch you guys in a few seconds. So here we go. We got Madison Bowie. She signed our offer. I kind of completely forgot what we offered them, but cool. All right, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and look at our roster, make up our lines for the preseason, and we're going to... Well, I've already made my line, so I'm going to show you guys them. Uh, the power play is kind of interesting. Some of our top guys don't fit in our power play strategy. So that's kind of a little bit interesting for me personally. And we're going to name our team captain. I haven't done it. I know who's going to get the C. I think I know who's going to get the A's. But Devils fans out there, you guys are not going to be surprised. So we're going to go look at our lines here. So up front, we have Jack Hughes, Nico Hischer, Kyle Palmieri, Nikita Gusev, Cahoon, Janssen, Brad, Boquist, Merkley, Kukunen, Zajac, and Zaka. So, and then in Scratch, I'll show Scratch after, actually, whatever. Well, Miles Wood is Scratch. Defense, we got Ryan Murray, Damon Severson, Will Butcher, P.K. Subban, Zdorov, and oh, God, actually, I just want to see something. Maybe McCabe will have more chemistry. Nope. Alright. The door of it is. That works. So both offense and defense all have plus ones. I honestly couldn't get plus threes. And like, just no matter where you move people. There's... There's like nothing to do. Like, everyone can play with each other, get a plus one, it's whatever. But over here on special teams, power play, I have managed to get plus one on here. But four-man power play, it's zero. But when we look at the regular power play, like, Palmieri power play strategy, not a line fit. Maybe. No. So, yeah. 
Hisher not a power play line fit. Jack Hughes not a power play line fit. Subban's not. Goon's not. Gusev's not. Janssen's not. Honka is. Severson's neutral. Like, it just, I don't know. It's interesting. I didn't do penalty kill, but, uh, plus three. If it's giving me a plus three there, then go for it. It's like, I don't get that. It says Kukinen's in at the lefty spot and Subban will get C. Oh, we're just going to leave it like that. I don't know if that's glitched or not. Maybe our defenseman's taking the draws there. And then, I forgot to show. I'll quickly go switch to it. We could have put Holtz in. But then, we'd have someone like Gusev or Janssen on the third line. Which Gusev did very well for us last season. Johnson, uh, Janssen's didn't, didn't do that bad. So it's just kind of like... Like, where do you put Holtz? I would love to put Holt somewhere in the top six. I mean, I know Cahoon's going to want a lot of money probably after this season. Maybe we use him as a trade bait, or we just use him to go for it. And then be that second, third line guy that we could use in the playoffs. So I actually found something out from another franchise mode, X-Tech. He, uh... She does the regular season with injuries off and then turns it back on for playoffs. And I actually really like that because even though I toned down the injuries, it was still getting a decent amount of injuries and I was getting rather annoyed myself having to pause the simulation to edit the lines, do it, and then a week later the injuries come back and it just was a vicious cycle. So in the AHL, we've got foot, Maltz, of Holtz, Zetterlund, Schmelzer, and Schnarr top six with Mercer on that third line. What's Mercer's face-offs? 65. What's this guy's face-offs? 75. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll keep it like that. And then on defense, we have Bowie and Smith, which actually plus one, so that's kind of cool. These guys, yeah, you get plus one, but you minus the other pair, so it's not worth it. So now it is time to... Name our captains. So we're going to unassign. And then unassign captain. And then unassign alternate on Subban. So we have no C's, no A's. But first, we're going to name our one alternate captain. And that will be Kyle Palmieri. Sure, that's not a surprise to many of you. And then we will actually give the other A to Severson. Thing about giving it to Zajac again, but I think it's kind of like Zajac's here. He's still a locker room leader. He's that veteran presence that this team needs. Same with like Palmieri and guys like that. But it's we're resurrecting the devils. Entering that new era where hopefully the Devils can get to the top of the mountain and be Stanley Cup champions. Not just one, but maybe multiple times. And then our captain's gonna go to... Janssen? What? Gusev? Zaka? Nico Hesher. Good old Nico captain. I honestly think he should be the devil's captain in real life. And I'm making him captain in my franchise mode. Sure, that's not a big surprise to any of you guys with the thumbnail of him being in it. And just that he probably sh he, sh he should be the captain for the devils. So before I forget, we're going to quickly go into settings, turn off injuries, simulate the preseason, and then we'll get on from there. 
So injuries off. Cool. Simulate three season. Again, we're not going to take too much into it. It's just preseason, but it's kind of cool to see. Get the juices flowing. So I think we should look at maybe shopping Cahoon and Crawford. That's someone I didn't show you guys. Oh, Marmia. Nope. Get out of here. Get out of here. Because, uh,. We're playing paying Blackwood a lot, and right now he's slated as our backup, and he actually went up to 85, and Crawford's in 86 overall. So we've got a fantastic duo in those two. Crawford's obviously an expiring deal, and he's a veteran, getting older, and he's in his late 30s. Pajot and Sevier. Sit. I wouldn't mind a guy like Pajot. For five million for five years, not necessarily. I was just thinking of something that I should do, but I totally forgot to do it. I had it in my mind for a second, and then it was gone. So we went four and three in the playoffs, a couple big wins. Playoffs. Wow, preseason. All right. Getting a little ahead of myself here. So we go, Nico Hischer, 11 points in 7 games. That's something you absolutely love to see. Big old Captain Nico, Jack Hughes, Palmieri. Nothing. Whoa, we hit 9% shooting. That's crazy. Let's take a look. Nope, they don't have preseason. Cool. What about goalies? Crawford 4 and 2, Blackwood 0 and 1. It's like Crawford just seems to play better. I don't know why I went to that AHL again. And he's 36. Relatively good cap hit at what, 3.9? So. Just finish off this regular symptom regular season. Scout, I'm just not even gonna worry about the scout because it's broken. So that's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for the support in the previous episodes and uh, all my videos for NHL 21 so far. I know in the last video I wanted to do a lot more videos than I have been doing. I haven't been feeling too well and it's like I've had uh, jaw pain. Long story short, I can see some of you guys in the comments what you guys are thinking. It's not like that. I need to get dental work done. I've just been putting it off. And it got to a point where it's, uh, it was really painful and it was kind of rather difficult to talk for a long period of time. And like right now, it's honestly starting to hurt. So I'm kind of glad this is the end of the video. But it's feeling a little bit, quite a bit better than it was before. So I'm hoping it's... Uh, Toler tolerable so I can do more videos for you guys and I'm gonna go and get it checked out and get some work done but that's enough of that so again thanks for the guys wow 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 thanks a lot guys and don't forget to hit the description box check out my twitch I stream ESHL sometimes and other game modes I want to get into other games just don't know what games and check out my discord if you guys want to pop in chat whatever and then follow me on twitter everything's down in the description below and if you're one of the 92 percent of people that watch my video that aren't subscribed if you like it drop that subscription drop a like maybe share a video with a friend until next next video guys i'll catch you guys later peace out